I love Dragon Ball. I know it hasn't come up much here, but I should make it clear that Battle of Gods, the 2013 film, was my first exposure to anime itself. And unfortunately, it's been three very long years since the last time a Dragon Ball movie made its way over to America. But despite all the time I had to get my hopes and expectations up, somehow, Dragon Ball Super Superhero blew me away. It is quintessentially Dragon Ball. Akira Toriyama's touches on this script shine like the sun off Krillin's bald head. Hey, I'm pretty good too. As usual, he delivers on the things Dragon Ball has always been known for, like the endlessly charismatic characters and the interactions between them, and he pulls a surprising amount of genuinely funny gags throughout the whole movie, especially making great use of the new characters for that. Being a comedy writer, Toriyama has the experience and know-how when it comes to executing these, and it results in that unique tonality that makes Dragon Ball so compelling in the first place, this fascinating balancing act between comedy and seriousness. On top of that, I just really liked the story. Broly had an interesting enough first act, but essentially just became a big fight after the first maybe 45 minutes or so. I appreciate that Superhero manages to pull off a real narrative, with the actual structure and Something that really caught me by surprise here was the sheer amount of focus on Gohan and Piccolo. Don't let any of the trailers fool you, Goku and Vegeta have a total of two scenes in this movie, and I gotta say it's refreshing to see the two of them take a back seat here. Gohan and Piccolo make great use of the spotlight, between doing fun stuff with each other and doing stuff that riffs off both earlier moments in Dragon Ball, but also other series too. I didn't think I'd say this, but Godzilla fans are really gonna love this one. Of course, the big point of controversy here is the CGI animation. And after all this time, how does it look? It's good! Obviously, people looking for a traditional 2D aesthetic will be disappointed. This movie is certainly trying to emulate that, but it never makes the mistake of thinking it actually is 2D, and I absolutely adore it because of that. It's intensely satisfying to see something that just takes the technology and runs with it instead of trying to trick you into thinking it's not using it at all. One of my favorite things here is how they use the animation to create character, because 3D allows for a lot of smaller and more subtle movements that convey personality when used right. The fights are also just incredible. The trailers have not done this movie justice at all, because a lot of the best stuff is later on during more spoilery segments, but the action in this movie is a triumph. Tetsuro Kodama, the director, also directed the CGI sequences on Broly, which actually ended up being some of my favorite parts of that movie on a recent rewatch. Kodama knows how to bring out the choreography and really pull the viewer along with his characters. For a series built so heavily on action based around flight, the way that characters fight and move through the environment here feels like a whole new thing, and definitely something that wouldn't be possible with traditional 2D animation. I especially love how the camera moves at immeasurable speed to keep up. It creates such a pure kinetic energy to the sequences that it's hard not to get into their groove, and the colors and effects animation are the real icing on the cake. In the end, I think most people will probably know if they're gonna love Dragon Ball Super Superhero before they even walk in. It's filled to the brim for fans looking for the kinds of things that have defined Dragon Ball for so long, but also exists both visually and narratively in places that haven't really been explored before and are well realized here. It's also the kind of movie that demands to be seen in a theater, and I strongly encourage you to see it on the biggest screen you can find. It's been a long time since my last big ride with the series, but Superhero made me feel right at home again. Before closing this out, I'd like to briefly thank Crunchyroll for sending me a screener link to view the film a day before its American release so that I could make this video. I wasn't expecting them to actually come back to me with a yes, and I genuinely cried for a couple minutes when I found out. Again, Dragon Ball is something that has defined a lot of my life, and being able to do press for it is a really important honor for me. I can only hope that I both did them, and of course, the staff on this movie, justice with this video. At any rate, that's going to be all for this video. If you watched Superhero, feel free to let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below, and if you watched anything else you'd like to talk about, feel free to leave it down there too. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you loved it, consider subscribing. That's going to be all for today, guys. Random Recorders, peace out and make sure to take care of yourself.